What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today I'm going to give you the most overpowered class setup for the MP7. Now this one does drop people super fast. You guys know the MP7 takes four bullets to kill people and the reload is only 2.0 seconds to reload. It's a very fast gun, very good to use. And I'm not only going to be giving you one class today, I'm going to be giving you guys two classes for the MP7 and you guys could choose which one you like better. Whichever one suits your play style better. So we're going to have one for slower pace, people who like to play a little slower and we're gonna have one for rushes people who love to rush like crazy and also guys i also want to talk about the rounds per minute that this gun shoots it shoots out 944 rounds per minute making it the fastest shooting smg in the entire game and it has a time to kill of 191 milliseconds literally almost one of the fastest killing smgs as well and this gun is super accurate there's like barely any recoil on it whatsoever and all in all i have to say probably one of my favorite smg I think my favorite SMG is slowly turning into the Uzi and I'm gonna get into a video on that in the future But guys do not sleep on the Uzi. I know without attachments. It's garbage But with attachments the thing is an absolute beast now guys if we could drop a thousand likes on this video Show me that you guys have made it already this far into the video All you got to do is drop a like and make sure that you guys are breathing I want to know you guys are alive and stuff like that So go ahead and drop a subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on and guys let me know down in the comments below what your favorite smg is i don't care about the other guns in this video i only care about the smg so let me know which one is your favorite and why you like it better than the other ones it doesn't whatever man just write whatever you gotta write right but let's get into the overpowered class setups the first one i want to talk about is the russian class because this is my favorite one out of all of them it suits my play style i like to rush i like to run around like a chicken without a head and i like to just go off on people and this class is is probably one of the better classes in the entire game to do that with and it's just a few attachments that make this gun so fun to use so the first attachment you guys are going to want to run on this gun is the barrel fss recon now this is a very good barrel because it gives you three positives but it also does give you three negatives but the three positives i see them so much better than the negative so i i would honestly just use these all the time so for the damage range that's what it gives you it also gives you bullet velocity and recoil control so damage range and bullet velocity is something you need especially using an smg to get people at those further shots now the negatives kind of suck i have to admit like it does take away some ads time aim down sight time and the movement speed you are a little bit slower as well but we're going to fix that with other attachments on this class as well which is going to be one of them right here the laser you want to use the tack laser this gives you faster ads time which i'm pretty happy with it gives you aiming stability and it makes you walk faster while aiming down sight so as long as you're aiming and walking you will be faster making you a harder target to hit and the only negative to this attachment is that your laser is visible only while you're aiming down sights so you can run around like crazy and not worry about your laser popping anywhere but the second you aim down sights just know the enemies will see your laser next off we're gonna go ahead and put on a stock and actually the stock attachment is the no stock whatsoever we're gonna remove the stock from this weapon this gives you movement speed which we need we definitely need that and it helps you guys aim down sights a lot faster as well now it does take away some aiming stability and it does take away some recoil control but the aiming stability we already got that with the laser we don't really care about it anymore we already got it so now we're back to where we were with the basic gun so this one's really damn good man the movement speed and ads this guys just look at the gameplay this gun's insane the under barrel is going to be the commando foregrip this gives you recoil stabilization and aiming stability stability which we do need that aiming stability because we just got that negative so we're up again on that but it does take away some movement speed and i have to say the movement speed we have two negatives for that and only one positive for that which is the stock but besides that you still move very fast it's still a very light gun and it kind of looks like the uzi i have to say like without the actual uh, stock in the back it does look like the uzi a lot and it just you know plays so good man i love this gun rear grip you guys are going to want to run the stippled grip tape it gives you ads speed but most importantly it gives you sprint to fire speed meaning that when you guys are sprinting and you get into a fight you don't have to worry about taking over an hour to aim down sights this should be pretty damn fast but it does take away some aiming stability which 
in my opinion. I mean, we already got two attachments that give us aiming stability, and now we have two that take away aiming stability. So your aiming stability is going to be as if you were using the basic version of this weapon. But guys, these attachments make this gun so fun to use. I didn't think it would be good at long range, but it's not bad. Like, it's not the best at long range. It's good for close and medium range, but if you do end up getting into a gunfight at long range, it's not bad. This gun could definitely help you out. Now, let's move on to the second class for this one. This one is more of the laid back class. It's more if you like to not rush around like a chicken without a head. You could obviously rush with this class. It's definitely made for that as well because it is an SMG, but this is one where you want to play a little slower. You want to maybe hold off areas rather than running from one end of the map to the other. So this one right here is the slower paced class. I like it as well, but I'm more of a, I'm, I'm a chicken guys, man. I like to run around without that head, but going on to this one, the barrel is going to be the FSS strike. This one's different than the one that we had on the other one, which was the FSS recon. This one gives you damage range and it gives you bullet velocity, but it doesn't give you the recoil control like the other one did. But we did this for a reason. We only wanted one negative, which is going to be the aim down sight speed. We don't want the movement to, we don't want to lose more movement speed and stuff like that. So this one does have a negative for aiming down sights, but it's still a great attachment. There's only one negative for those two positives that you get. The next one is going to be stock. And for the stock, we're actually going to put one on. We're not going to take it off. And that's going to be the FSS close quarter stock. This gives you aim down sight speed and it takes away aiming stability. To be honest, guys, the only reason I put on this attachment, I didn't want to put it, but the only reason I did is because I wanted that ADS speed. Since we took it away with the last attachment being the FSS strike barrel, we took away the ADS speed. I felt like I needed to put it back on with this class here because on our next attachment, again, we're going to be taking away ADS speed, which kind of sucks, but we even it all out. So the ammunition is going to be the 60 round mags. This allows you guys to play and hold off areas and only reload after like seven or eight kills or something like that. So this one's really good to have. And uh, this it gives you maximum ammo capacity, but it does take away movement speed and ADS speed. So right there, the ADS on this gun isn't looking too good. But again, don't worry. I already got this thought over and uh, the rear grip is going to be the stippled grip tape, which gives us ADS, thank God. So now we have two negatives for ADS and two positives for ADS, meaning that our ADS speed should be back to normal, where it normally is. And it also gives you sprint to fire speed. This is the exact same attachment we had on the last class. This is the only attachment that both classes share. And I have to say it's a good one and it does take away aiming stability, but that sprint to fire speed and that ADS speed, we do need it on this gun because we are playing back, yes. But every time you do sprint up, you might get caught in something you don't want to get caught into so make sure you have that on now the last thing on this class is a pretty important one for this class right here and that is the sleight of hand perk and the reason for this is because the ammunition 60 round mags when you get caught without any any bullets in your magazine whatsoever you want to make sure that you can reload as fast as possible it's a heavier uh magazine it's a heavier gun and everything so it does take a little longer to reload so make sure to get that sleight of hand on and you will reload this gun much faster than you actually thought now like i said in the beginning of this video if you guys to let me know your favorite SMG down in the comments below. And I'm going to be making an Uzi video because, guys, I, I tried using the Uzi without attachments. It feels weak. It feels like it's shooting, I don't know, water water balls and stuff. That's Is that even a thing? Water balls? I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I feel like it shoots that. But then once you get attachments on the Uzi, which I recommend you guys do it right now that it's double XP and double weapon XP, uh, once you get attachments, the Uzi is a straight-up beast. And I have to say, like, up close, yo, you're not beating the Uzi, man. Not up close. No way. This gun is insane but let me know which one is your favorite i know a lot of people are flocking towards the mp5 i think the mp5 is a great weapon as well but we got to show the mp7 some love as well because come on man it's the mp7 this is like this is a fan favorite gun since like modern warfare 2 or whatever it was whenever this gun came out i don't even remember to be honest you guys but this gun is definitely one of those guns that i love so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching this video we're so close to 500 000 subscribers so if you guys can drop a subscribe show some support and prove that you made it this far into the video by commenting red chickens down in the comments below. It just it confuses people. Everyone's like, why the heck are they writing red chickens? What the hell does this have to do with anything? And if a lot of people do it, it confuses people even more. So go ahead and write that if you made it this far into the video. Subscribe with those notifications turned on. It'll help me out a lot. And if we could go for 1,000 likes on this video, guys, that would be absolutely amazing as well. Anyways, my name is Nick. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.